folks, welcome back. Today I'm taking another look at this shifter motorized bike that we built a while back and we're going to be putting a new motor on it. Check it out. Well, if you haven't seen this bike before, I definitely recommend going to the channel and checking it out. It has a five-speed lawnmower transmission on it that we use a little suicide shifter to shift up and down. So let's go over the details real quick. So as you can see, this is the input shaft to the transmission and we need this guy to rotate clockwise. So I can't just throw it in like this. It actually has to be put in reverse like this. So what I'll do is have a pulley down here, a pulley right here, a belt connecting the two, and then we're gonna have a tensioner that is operated by some sort of foot pedal. I think it's gonna be a, a peppy little devil. So let's mount the engine and see what we can do. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a template of the bolt pattern on the engine. I will then transpose that bolt pattern onto a piece of quarter inch steel. Now that I know the bolt pattern fits, I need to cut off the excess metal and then bend this part over to make a belt guard. Now that the part is all finished up, I'll put it back on the engine and make sure I didn't anything up. Swap out the sprocket on the transmission for a pulley and then finally I'll start mounting the engine. Well guys here's where I'm at right now. The engine is 100% just floating over the frame right now and I just have this one little piece of metal here bolted on holding it up and that's basically just to get it where I want it lined up with the belt and the uh, pulley on the transmission. And I'm gonna put this thing on there, bolt it on, and then I'll have a piece of metal coming up, off, and then connecting to the actual frame itself. So you can see there actually is mounts on the front, but I can't use those because if I have mounts coming from the frame and bolting it on, then I can't push the engine back because it'll hit the back of the frame and so the engine will be stuck on there. So I could make it a bracket, but that's just too much work. So I'm just gonna use these and then I'll be able to pull it down. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get this thing on the road. That little two stroke. Here I'm using cardboard to make a template for an engine mount. I use the jigsaw to get a nice curvature in my cuts. I used a nice thick piece of metal, like your mama, to use as an engine mount. While you guys were skipping ahead in the video, I went and made an engine bracket for the bottom mount. Now that the engine is on nice and sturdy, I can start with that belt tensioner. I begin by looking in my spare parts bin for anything that I think would work. Wow, convenient. The pulley system will go under the frame and have a series of linkages hooked up to a foot pedal. It looks like I messed up. I made that shaft way too long. Not to worry, I'll just cut the shaft to length and then drill a hole for a pin. Perfect. Unlike a millennial, this will work. Additionally, I'll work on some linkages. After talking to my elderly neighbor about how much Windows 10 sucks, I'll go ahead and install the linkages. Alright, so after an unreasonable amount of time, I finally got our clutch system working. And here's our little foot pedal. And unfortunately, this arm is a little longer and pokes up a little higher than I would like it to. So, anyway, it's just going to be little things now. I got to put a chain back on there. I got to set up the throttle cable, a gas tank, and then probably some other little things that I can't think of right now. First, I size up the chain. I then mark the link that I need to cut. Once the chain is cut to size, I reinstall it on the bike. 
Next, I begin the- Get away, stupid cat. I use a stem cap from an old bicycle to house the cable. Once the gas tank is installed and I'm satisfied with the bike, I then paint all my welds. Unfortunately, this carburetor was being a stupid piece of trash, so I had to switch it out for a lawnmower carburetor. The new carburetor has a float and bowl. I then finish up the kill switch. Lastly, I change up the gearing, add some brakes, and now I think this bike is ready to hit the road. Although the bike looks like something you'd find in a Chinese scrapyard, the belt clutch combo really makes this a unique motorbiking experience. Coming off of a lawn edger, the gear shift mechanism is relatively painless and it's easy to keep track of what gear you're in. Just be sure to use the clutch while shifting or else risk damaging the transmission. Now some of you might be saying that this bike is a death wish, but once you get the hang of it, it is actually a lot of fun. The manual foot pedal really makes you feel part of the experience of driving the bike, and that 5 speed to comes the transmission really makes for a good time. I do get a lot of glances driving around. I assume that's because people think I'm chasing them with a giant chainsaw. Unfortunately, I feel like this bike is missing something. I would like to retry this with either a chainsaw engine or some sort of gas-powered saw. The snowblower engine just doesn't seem to have too much power. Another great feature of this bike is it's so light that once you're done riding it, you can simply just throw it on a bike rack on the back of your car. Guys, I appreciate you watching the build video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, tell me what your favorite part of this motorbike is and leave it in the comments down below. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.